Second Corinthians chapter 9 verses 6 and 7 He who sows sparingly, sparingly will also reap sparingly uh, and he who sows bountifully he will also reap bountifully, bountifully. So, so let, let each, each one give as he purposes in his heart not grudgingly or of necessity for God loves a cheerful giver For giver. God loves a cheerful giver Sometimes we are like this we give and then we are like oh why did I give I shouldn't have given him. You feel like giving, you are inspired by God to give. And after you give, you have a need. You don't have money. And then the devil comes and whispers in your, see unnecessarily you gave. Look, you don't have money in your wallet now. What are you going to do? So don't regret for what you have done. Don't do it with grudging attitude. Some people are like this. When the beggar comes on the street, starts begging. Oh, go away man. At least if I give this 10 rupees, he will leave my house. This is like a headache. Every morning we have this nuisance in front of the house. I want to somehow get rid. So that is not a good attitude, right? It's a good action, but with a bad attitude. You understand? Your attitude also matters. More than your actions, people look at your actions, but God looks at your attitude. God looks at your motive. So the Bible says, God loves a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. There's a great man of God named C.T. Studd. He said this, Only one life, it will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. I want to repeat these lines again. Only one life, it will soon be passed. But only what is done for Christ will last. So if we take this life, if you are 25 years, 21 years, 30 years, whatever your age is, whatever you have done for God is the only thing that will count in eternity. All the breakfast that you ate, all the nice treats you had, all the fun entertainment you had, all the nice clothing you wore, or the kind of the schools in which you studied, the time you spent with your friends and family, all that doesn't count. But the time you spend sharing the word of God, the time you spend serving God, the time you spent in God's presence, the time you spent sharing your testimony, the time you spent serving the people in need, only that is going to count in eternity. So if we take that count, I think most of our time is wasted in sleeping. And again, when we are awake, most of the time is wasted in useless chatter, right? Right? Some people, they can't stop talking. Useless chatter, unnecessary conversations. Or these days, we waste most of our time on social media. You want to know what everybody else in the world is doing. You don't think about what's happening in your own life. You want to know, 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 and you think you're gaining a lot of knowledge. Now, these days, people have selfie mania, right? Take different kinds of selfies, all crazy poses, and then immediately they post. They don't take selfies to keep it for themselves. They want everybody to see. You're more interested in likes and comments and hearts. Do you think all these matter in heaven? Do your popularity in social media determine your status in heaven? Not at all. Do the followers that you have on Facebook or Instagram, is that going to count in heaven? Do God say you have more than 1000 followers or in, on Instagram? You get your entrance into heaven. Rubbish, right? Nothing's going to matter. All these are not going to count. So why are we dwelling on unnecessary stuff? Why are we focusing on the things which are unimportant? Why are we wasting time? In other words, wasting life on things which do not count in eternity. Eternity. Remember, only what is done for Christ will last. So when I say, show your love in actions, Showing your love in actions doesn't mean, love in actions doesn't just mean financial gifts. When I was working for TCS in Hyderabad, so before I got a job, I always wanted to give thousands of rupees for the Lord, for the ministry. So when I didn't work, I can't give thousands of rupees, right? I can't demand my daddy. So I said, Lord, give me a job so that I can give you thousands of rupees. And then God gave me a job in TCS and then I started giving thousands of rupees and then I was not satisfied with what I gave to the Lord I always wanted to give more to the Lord more for the ministry I wanted to support God's ministry so I said Lord I want to give you in lakhs so God said okay I know how to 
fulfill your desire. You have a good de desire. So that's when my manager called me and sent me to the United States. And then that desire was also fulfilled. Then I didn't ask, Lord, I want to give crores, okay? So God stopped me there. But then one fine day, God started speaking to me, I don't need your money, I need you. I'm like, no, Lord, first I want to give my money, okay? I want to give my money. God said, I have other people who can give me money to support my ministry, but at this point of time, I need you for my work because I know you can labor for me. I want to use you as a person because you already gave your money, okay? You are happy, I'm happy. So that is when I said, okay, Lord, thank you for fulfilling my desire to give to you in financial terms or in, as financial gifts. But now I want to give myself as a gift. Now when I look back for the past seven years, the ways in which God led me or God led us as a family and our ministry, when I look back, I see that God had a plan when he said, I don't just need your money, but I need you as a person. Now God is sending so many other people who are connected with our ministry, who are connected with our burden, who know our vision and they are supporting our ministry from different places. Some people we have not even met. We are so thankful to all those people who are joining hands with us and strengthening us in the ministry. But God said, I don't want you to stop with your financial gifts, but you as a person should be involved in the ministry. So when it comes to love in action, showing your love for God and God's people in action doesn't just mean helping in monetary terms, but it also means that you use your time, your talents and your resources.